be wealthy or powerful, but your best dress pales in comparison to the nobles and royalty. Hmm. But regardless of where we You look stressed, baby. Them, you are beautiful. What's wrong? Inside and out. And I can guarantee that the prince will see that <laughs> in you. Baby. My dear precious. You've been quiet this whole night. I'm not getting any younger. You don't usually stay this I quiet, especially this since this is one of your favorite movies. My On top of that, that we would have been, you know, cuddling by now. Come on, tell me what's on your mind. Good. <sighs> Work is stressing you. Is it the busy season? Could explain why you've been exhausted for these past few weeks. It's not? Ah, for real? Wait a sec, is this the same guy that keeps complaining about not getting a date with you? Yeah, <sighs> what a pig. Hasn't anyone complained about him? He definitely needs to be reprimanded. Damn. You're going to do well, my darling. Your stomach hurts at work? Remember, mind your manners. And respect for the court. <sighs> the doors for the wife selection. Does your stomach still hurt, now. baby? Farewell, daughter. Why didn't you talk to me about it? I love you. <laughs> this has been greatly affecting you, and it's hurting you even physically. <sighs> babe. True, my job has been a pain in the ass. <laughs> The stress and strain does exhaust me, too. <laughs> the difference, though, is... My job is a constant challenge, with or without a shit boss. The difficulties with my job are balanced out with the pay. My passion. And... I have a pretty decent work environment, too. Now, can you honestly tell me that the struggle and stress that you deal with at work and the pay and the work environment matches mine? <sighs> you don't even have to answer. You know what? Forget about the movie tonight. How about instead... We start with that little tummy of yours. <laughs> What? I'm just gonna rub your tummy a little bit. There's no harm in that. I am confident that it will work. After all, you know what my hands are capable of to catch my drift. <laughs> Alright, baby. We'll start with soft circles. Simple and soothing. Right. Now, I'll just add a bit of pressure with my knuckles. And do the same motions. Not too hard. Really? How's your stomach feel now? <laughs> See? I told you it would help. Do you even want me to continue, or do you want me to stop? <laughs> no problem. We got a stomach ache to ease. Now, how about we talk about it a little bit? Baby, come on, don't play dumb. I'm talking about your workplace stress. <sighs> Killing the mood? I don't think so. <clears throat> no, no. I'm already interested. Oh, I'm definitely gonna make you talk. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm doing. I'm gonna get my way with you. Oh, yes. <laughs> Stay there. I'm just gonna tickle you a little bit. Come on, it's not that bad. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm only stopping if you're ready to talk about what your problems are. But... I think I may not stop with the tickling. We'll see. Only this time I'll be using my lips to tickle your body. 
I miss giving you kisses on your body. Your skin is so soft. <laughs> I can tell you're enjoying this by the look on your face. The blushing on your face makes it so cute and irresistible. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with talking about a serious matter when the mood is good. I promise. So, are you ready to talk? I'm all ears, baby. Hmm. So all together, your boss treats you badly with lots of paperwork, overtime, and goes as far as taking credit for your input? Hmm. So in other words, your coworkers are just a bunch of slackers. They take all the credit for all the group shit that you guys do, and <laughs> they boast about getting the job done. Wow. <laughs> yeah, right. And to top it all off, you barely had time for breaks, right? I remember that one time you couldn't even get a snack for energy. Tch. Would you say now, after telling me all of what you've been through, <laughs> that your job is balanced to your liking? What do you mean? I see. Well... <sighs> I believe I have the solution to your problem. Hell, I knew of it after seeing you day after day coming home, tired and depressed. And I've been noticing it more and more after the days have gone by. So to start off with the solution, I need you to put in your two-week notice, stating that you have found a job opportunity somewhere else. Don't worry about the rent. I got approved for a raise. Plus, we can budget for groceries and only use the savings for emergencies. I can assure you that I got it all under control, babe. <sighs> babe, that is something I don't want you to do. I don't want you to go back and find another desk job just to end up where you were. <laughs> yes, you are skilled and you are good. But you weren't passionate about it. I want you to find something that you love. That excites you to be motivated and enjoy doing what you do. There's a new pastry place that just opened up not too far from where we live. I passed by it and noticed they're still looking for people to hire and train. <laughs> Baby, I know that you're motivated by baking sweets. You were so skilled and you loved making them and seeing those who tried your goodies... <laughs> You know they love them. You make the best sweets in the world. And that place would be ecstatic to have you. Apply for that position. It's what you want to do. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind if other people get to taste baked goods when you get the job. But you still have to keep the secret recipes for me to enjoy with you personally. <laughs> oh, really? Well, if I am the best, then why haven't I gotten a kiss yet? <laughs> Look, I know it's scary. But you can do this. Anything that you set your mind to. Even if you don't like doing those baked goods. Just do whatever makes you happy. And I'll support you. <laughs> There's that smile I was waiting for. <laughs> 